mighty king named Nebuchadnezzar, who with his battalions of horses and legions of archers had conquered the city of Jerusalem and driven its people into exile. One day he summoned one of his princes, and the man kneeled before him. Emperor of the universe, uh, what is thy wish? I have conquered these people, but there are some who will never bow to our gods. They are dangerous. Bring them to me, and I will crush the memory of their god or destroy them. Among those brought were three of great learning. The emperor sent his prince to speak to them. Exiles, you have pleased the emperor. You shall be made nobles of the realm, and you shall be called Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. First step in Nebuchadnezzar's cunning plan. Thereafter, he heaped rich rewards upon them. And when he was certain he had made them forget their God, he set forth a new law. Build me a great golden image, ninety feet high. Command that all people shall fall down and worship it. Whosoever does not shall be thrown into a furnace of flaming fire. And it was done, and all the people obeyed. And when Nebuchadnezzar heard this, he was filled with a thundering anger. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times harder than ever before. He commanded the three men be bound and thrown into the flame. The heat was so great that even the soldiers who threw them into the terrible cauldron were shriveled by the blast. Nebuchadnezzar saw a strange thing. There were not merely three persons in the furnace, but four, walking as if in a garden. The flames reached up around them, but neither touched nor burned them, almost as if they were protected by a wall. And lo, the fourth figure in the midst of the white hot flame was an angel of God. And Nebuchadnezzar was stricken with terror and cried aloud.